Third quarter, 15 points. I think yeah. at one point, um, it's like maybe made three shots through the first eight or nine minutes. Was it something that they did out of the break, or no, what did you it, see? I just thought, um, you know, I don't know. I thought we lost our pace. Uh, I, I, I caught a timeout, I think, on a second play. Because uh, you could see it. We came out flat. Um, that happens. I don't know why. I wish we all knew why. Um, and, and they took advantage of it. You know, that stretch, that got them more and more. I thought we were the aggressor for two quarters, and then they were the aggressor in the third quarter. I will say I thought we got it back in the fourth, but we really never played um, well like we played again. You know, we scored, uh, but I thought – they were they were the far more aggressive team from the third and the fourth quarter, and, and we were the aggressive team in the first two, um, and that that bothered me, especially how we came out. Um, you know, I haven't called a timeout in a minute and a half in a while, but it was obvious our first play was so slow, so passive. We hadn't done that all night, and so you know, then we did it again, then we did it a third time. So um, we'll watch the film and figure out why that happened. Uh, but, uh, guys, it's just we can't sustain, you know, uh, the Cleveland game. We came out like gangbusters, and as the game goes on, uh, we just don't sustain our play. Like, the, the game plan against Cleveland was great coming out, and we lost it. The game plan coming out tonight, again, was great, and then we lose our way. And so it's my job to try to make sure we keep going, keep playing, keep playing at the right pace. Um, we didn't do that. I mean, I, I guess off that along those lines, I mean, is there – I mean, have you been able to pinpoint anything to is it? Is there some lack of confidence to some degree as to what, no, you know, why that's happening? It's a great question because when you're not winning, you know, no matter how good you think you are, that can happen. I don't think that's it, uh, but I don't know that. Um, I think Dame's 4-15 on yeah. the day. He just really... had a night, you know. Um, they did a great job on him, top blocking him, um, you know, denying him the ball. They switched on him a lot. Um and that's where we got to get better at getting to the next action uh, to help Dame. I didn't think we helped Dame enough today. Um, defensively, you guys were switching a lot there in that fourth quarter. Um, How well, you? We feel- did it all game. I, I liked our defense overall. Uh, I mean, uh, they shot forty percent from the field. Uh, what I didn't like is in the first half we were doing the same thing and we didn't overhelp. In the second half, when the game got tight. I think we had five or six overhelps that led to threes. And, and we had them inside the three-point line. We were going to live tonight with them taking those twos, right? They don't want to take twos. Um, but I, I bet I'm going to say maybe nine or ten in the second half where they had the ball in the paint, one-on-one, and we overhelped and it led to a three. That's what they want. That's why they're doing it. Um, I think Andre played 18 minutes in the first half, only four in the second. Was yeah, that they, a hit pointer again? Or? Yeah, no, I, just, I thought um, – the way they were helping off of him was really affecting our offense, uh, especially from the second quarter on. Um, we still – he's going to be a good player for us. Uh, we got to still work with him where to cut, what to do when that happens. Um, when you watch the tape, his guy wasn't – he was on the other side of the floor sometimes, double team, and they didn't care where he went. And we got to make sure we put him in the right spots and he understands that. But he will. That's easy. Doc, I know you have a obviously a veteran team, but just kind of how do you message and and I guess like what kind of message are you talking to the guys and, and saying to after a game and just like a stretch like this? Well, we just got to dig ourselves out of this hole that we're we're creating. We created it, all of us, me, them, uh, together. Um, I have no doubt we will, uh, but it's not one night. We had a one tonight. We still weren't going to be in the hole. You know, uh, we have to play ourselves out of this hole. Ryan Rollins in the second half, uh, a lot of great, uh, you know, three blocks. Um, curious what your thoughts are I, I on his performance. I thought he was great. I, I thought, um, you know, he struggled that one stretch on, on Pritchard. You know, first time he just got caught off guard. The second two times, now he's got it going. Good lesson for him. Like, he'll be a better player the next time we play Boston. I, I guarantee you that. In the second half, uh, Pritchard didn't get any of those things. So, it tells you that he's a quick learner. Like, he, he knew it at halftime. Um, you know, we showed him it, but he already knew, and, and, and he adjusted. So, uh, very happy with him. And then I just, like, loved his second effort. Um, you know, he had the one layup where, you know, I was telling someone if that was uh, in the G League, he would have gone to score quick. Uh, but because he hadn't played, you know, like, you could tell he knew he could go, but he actually 
kind of win it at half speed. He'll get better at that when he, when he gets more confident. Uh, I should have followed up on this right away. You said that you guys didn't help out Dame enough. What does helping Dame look Yeah, like? when he's off the ball, we got to make sure we have a better scheme to get him open, to get back open. You know, you know he hasn't played off the ball a lot, uh, but when he is off the ball and we want him to come to the ball, we got to make sure the proper screens are set for him. Um, off, off of that with, with Andre, they, they were kind of sagging off. I mean, Torian had three shots after the first quarter. Yeah. Brooke... Um, just six points. I, I realize there's more bench scoring tonight, but th- does it feel like there just isn't enough offense right now for for what you're trying? I mean, obviously you're not scoring more points than the other team, but it, it feels like there's just not enough consistency outside of there's not enough movement. Um, when we, the first half, the ball was hopping, right? Bam, bam, everybody was – TP was getting wide-open shots. Brooke did get some wide-open shots tonight, and they just didn't fall. Uh, but that's what I gauged our movement on. It's not if Dame or Giannis scores a lot of points. It's when they score a lot of points and those other guys still have a lot of attempts. Uh, and we got to make sure that we continue to do that. Our job, uh, especially the Stars' job, is to make sure all these guys are getting shots off of what they can do. Um, in New York, you had hoped Chris would go get some more work. Was A, was he able to do that? And, and B, is there an update on where, where he's There's at? no update, but he did go yesterday. Um, I want to say three on three, maybe even four on four. So again, he's getting closer, but there's no update. Hey, Doc, I can't the wait till I don't have to answer that anymore. <laughs> the other week, Giannis told us that he feels like this team just doesn't have its identity. There was a little fight after that 12 0 run you mentioned in that fourth quarter. Yeah. Do you feel like you're. I think we're closer. You know, Bobby said something when he was about to lose his brain, you know, out on the floor. He said, I got to be me. I haven't been me all year. And I asked him, I said, Well, where have you been? And he started laughing. You know, he said, you know what? You're right. It was a, we we're joking, so don't take this like literal stuff. But I said, we need you to be you every night, you know. Uh, so everybody feels like they're trying to find themselves in this midst of awful uh, losses. Uh, and I think we will. Do you feel like Dame and Giannis are stepping up for this team in the yeah, midst of I them do. finding like, that? Like, listen, we put a lot on the plate for them. Um, and they're doing a lot of stuff. Um, and Dame's doing stuff that he's never done in his career. Like, you know, he's out switching and trapping and pressuring uh, because he has to do that for us to win. And I think Dame's been amazing at doing that. Thanks, guys.